Most welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you once again this Wednesday, this afternoon. Uh, I want us to go together into the Word of God in Genesis chapter 7, and let us hear what is happening after Noah has built an ark for the Lord. And God wants to save Noah, so let us hear what is happening in chapter 7, after people have become so wicked and God has decided, has decided to wipe away them. The Lord said, no, this is uh, Noah, I mean Genesis chapter 7 verses 1 uh, uh, to 24. It's a short chapter as well. And so let us hear what the word says. God, thank you. We worship you for your word. As we do it, be with us and take care of us, O oh Lord. For this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Most welcome, guys, and thank you so much for being my followers. I love you all. The Lord said to Noah, Go into the boat with your whole family. I have found that you are the only one in all the world who does what is right. Take with you seven pairs of each kind of leisurely clean animal, but only one pair of each kind of unclean animal. Take also seven pairs of each kind of bird. Do this so that every kind of animal and bird will be kept alive to reproduce again on the heart. Seven days from now, I am going to send rain that will fall for 40 days and nights in order to destroy all the living beings that I have made. And Noah did everything that the Lord commanded. Noah was 600 years old when the flood came on the earth. He and his wife and his sons and their wives went into the boat to escape the flood, a male and a female of every kind of animal and bird, whether ritually clean or unclean, went into the boat with Noah as God had commanded. Seven days later the flood came. When Noah was six hundred years old, on the on on on, on on the seventeenth day of the second month, all the outlets of the vast body of water beneath the earth burst open. All the floodgates of the sky were opened, and rain fell on the earth for forty days and nights. On that same day, Noah and his wife went into the boat with their three uh, sons, Shem, Am, and Japheth, and their wives with them with them went every kind of animal domestic and wild large and small and every kind of bird a male and a female of each kind of living being went into the boat with noah as god had commanded then the lord shut the door behind noah the flood continues for 40 days and and the water became deep enough for the boat to float the, the water became deeper and the boat drifted on the surface. It became so deep that it covered the highest mountains. It went on rising until it was about seven meters above the top of the mountain. Every living being on earth died and every bird, every animal and every person, everything on earth that breathed died. The Lord destroyed all living beings on the earth, human beings, animals, and the, and the birds. The only ones left were Noah and those who were with him in the boat. The water did not start going down for 150 days. Amen, amen. That is the word of God up to verses 24. You see now the water has gone up to the mountain and from the mountain top, the water has even risen above the mountain top by seven meters. So you can imagine the kind of disaster God caused on the human race when he was wiping them away. And only Noah and his team and his family and the animals that were with him in the boat that were saved. May you be upon those who will be saved when God will be destroying those who are doing evil. Amen, amen.